name is Julie Beck and I am an instructor at and the assistant director of the Academy of Realist Art Boston. Uh, I came to ARA Boston in 2010-2011. I had just moved up to Boston from Rhode Island and uh, my previous experience uh, in the world of art before um, coming here was uh, minimal. <laughs> So I actually have a degree in mathematics and I originally went to school for engineering. Um, I came from a background in which uh, a relatively blue collar family, uh, art wasn't a huge element of our daily lives growing up. And uh, I really held the belief that becoming an artist wasn't a feasible or realistic uh, career path uh, for me. And, and a lot of that was because I actually don't have a lot of natural talent. Uh, I would say I'm in the mediocre range of nat natural talent. So uh, in my 20s, I was working as a graphic designer, video editor, uh, and motion graphics designer, and always trying to paint on my own at home. So I'd work 70 hours and then I'd come home and try to self-teach myself um, how to paint. Uh, that was frustrating to say the least. And, you know, I got to a certain point where I got frustrated with oils, went to acrylics. I took CE classes. I took classes at well-known art schools. And I just became more and more frustrated because I really felt like uh, I wasn't being taught the way that I have seen in museums that paintings could be like. So, um, when I moved up to Boston, I continued to look for additional art classes and I stumbled upon the Academy of Realist Art Boston. And the minute I walked in and saw the work on the walls, talked to some of the people here, uh, I knew this was the right place for me. Um, it was really uh, phenomenal to see that they were of the mindset that you can be taught how to draw and paint and it's not something that you have to be naturally good at um, in order to get better. So, uh, when I first came to school here, I within six months, I saw an extreme leap in my abilities and it was extremely exciting. And as I worked through the program, my work just kept getting better and better. And the really exciting thing for me was previously from coming to the school, I felt so limited in what I could do. I felt extremely restricted to just painting a cup or an apple. And even that was a big struggle. So the concept of trying to do a big, elaborate, creative piece was like not even on my radar. So um, when I came here, I finally felt like I was given the skills and the vocabulary in order to make the work that I have always wanted to make. And it really gave me the freedom to do what I wanna be able to do. And so that is why I personally, uh, feel extremely passionately about technical training. I don't believe it is necessarily for everybody, but when you wanna work in a specific way or have a specific knowledge base, or you wanna have the choice to work in a certain way, I feel very strongly that that knowledge is out there and it can be learned and it can be taught. And so uh, I'm extremely passionate about the school and what we offer. Um, and many of the students who come here are as well. So that's a little bit about my background and where I come from. Um, I'm, I would consider myself currently, you know, really starting to build up my uh, career as an artist. Uh, I'm working with a few galleries. Uh, my work, uh, I use a lot of the processes and a lot of the skills um, that we teach here at ARA Boston. I don't necessarily always use all of them, but again, they're in my toolbox. Uh, when I want to use them or when I don't want to use them. And they can also act as a jumping off point for uh, different experiments for me. So really the foundation of what I learned here, just in the, in, um, it took me six years to go through the program because I only came part-time the whole time. I never came full-time. I always had to work and I always had to be doing other things. Um, but even uh, part-time study, I finished the program in six years and uh, it really, brought my work to a completely new level. So uh, my current body of work is focused on uh, still life paintings, uh, portrait paintings, and 
um, sometimes paintings with animals in them. So uh, they all tend to have a underlying concept of narrative and composition and design are something I'm extremely passionate about as well. So I mostly teach Barg's cast and still life. I also teach uh, workshops throughout the year, sometimes things like color boot camps, um, Photoshop for artists, and a whole different range of, of topics. Um, so that's a little bit about, about me. My website is juliebecreative.com and um, feel free to call the school and I'll probably answer the phone or write an email and I'm usually the one to get it. So I look forward to seeing you at the school sometime.